All right. So um, an update on the previous video. Uh, you don't have to have watched it, but uh, the previous video did have some very helpful, uh, all the comments there I really treasured. Um, it's about relationships and the spiritual purpose of long-term relationships. Uh, it's hard to go through the, the challenges, the downs of long-term relationships. Um, it often feels like, you know, why stay? Um, what's the point of staying? Uh, there's, you know, in our, in our world of infinite choices now, it's like we no longer live in small villages uh, all our lives where you have arranged marriages, uh, everyone shares the same religion, you know, worldview, culture, um, family system, uh, extended family system, uh, friend system. And it all just uh, makes so much sense for uh, the simple olden days <laughs> to remain. Uh, and plus, I think in the old days, um, lifespan was much, much shorter, obviously, and and much harder. So the requirement of staying together to keep ourselves alive was um, much different than today, where uh, it's it's anyway so much so much different than modern times with um, uh, life lifestyles lifespans and the infinite choice of the internet and meeting uh, all kinds of people online and and. Um, Oh wow! That it's well, what? What if that was this? You know that what if that's a soulmate? What that's a, you know? And um, anyway, I uh, you can go and read the comments of the previous uh, Soul Gym video if somehow you're watching this and not on the Facebook page for Soul Gym. That's where the previous video is. Um, December thirty first. No, sorry, no, December twenty fourth. 2023. Uh, check out the comments there. Anyway, um, I had a very helpful conversation uh, with my with my wife um, yesterday. So the actually the same day of the video that I made, um, just a few hours later, um, I think just simply making that video having some some conversation, I had a conversation with with somebody um, was very helpful. And anyway, long story short, um, a conversation that was about admitting my own recent critical nature, uh, being too, in my, well, having, you know, had this perspective, a larger perspective now, it says, well, I could see how I could have been too critical in recent times of my wife. And and she admitted, uh, you know, given the feeling like she wasn't doing enough or being, you know, able to do the right things or be the right way or whatever, made her withdraw, which made me, uh, what which contributed to my feeling more neglected and un, un, unloved, uncared for, da, da, da. And that conversation of being willing to admit uh, to where I could have done differently, where, where I could have been more loving. And it's the same thing, you know, it's like, it's, like it's, it's you know, it's not always <laughs> uh, that possible or uh, to have both partners um, willing to admit uh, to one's uh, growth edges and uh, both partners being so committed to personal growth, um, spiritual growth. And that makes it infinitely easier, of course, to recommit to a partnership um, in the cases where um, both partners are not, you know, equally committed or are not, um, yeah, committed enough. Uh, you know, sometimes one partner is more committed and when partners able to, um, their commitment to spiritual or personal growth is able to 
compensate for the the other partner or pull them along or whatever. I don't know. I I'm not a relationship counselor, but I am just grateful. Um, and some of you are in that situation too and can be grateful for that, but others are not. And it's um there's no judgment on my part. You know, it's it's not easy whatsoever. And I'm just saying in my situation, the willingness to admit uh, fault or you, you could say fault or could say from a larger perspective uh, where one what, what where one could have been even more loving to shift the situation, um, you know, and that elicited the other uh, the partner to also um, talk about what what they could have done differently to to bring more harmony, more um, lovingness to the relationship. What a big difference a conversation like that makes. Um, and what I learned from that, uh, <laughs> and of course I'm 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 whispering not whispering I'm kind of whispering because I'm recording this in the home uh, with the door closed. Uh, <laughs> um, it's like. Mm. I wonder if the previous video, if my wife saw that would be, uh, I don't know, um, uh, hopefully not embarrassed or whatever, but um, she knows I'm very open to my audience. So, uh, but it's all, it's all good. <laughs> right. Um, so the, 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 I guess the point I want to make, and I I'll end this video is what I learned from it is that number one, a, loving a conversation where one is willing to step back and admit to, ah, I could have been more loving, could have done this differently. Often, if one's partner is committed also to personal spiritual growth, can elicit um, a letting the guard down from the other from the other partner. Um, what I learned from it, that, that's number one. Number two is, is um, when I'm, when I practice or I'm able to, when I'm able to practice stepping back and taking on a bigger perspective of my relationship, the so-called little annoyances, oh, I wish my, you know, all of us in long-term relationships, I don't, maybe, maybe you don't, maybe your relationship is perfect <laughs> or you have the, pers you have the larger perspective where you see perfection and love and everything. That's amazing. Wonderful. Uh, please comment below and, and share with us your, your wisdom. I would love that. Um, but it's like, I know for me, uh, it's easy in a long-term relationship to, to, for, for there to be kind of a, a sliding into, uh, having daily annoyances of, oh, I, uh, my partner can, I wish my partner would do this. You know, I wish my partner would stop doing that. You know, that's, that's, that's annoying or, um, right. It's like, oh, that's annoying. I really, oh, that triggers me, uh, in this way or that way. And, and, oh my gosh, this is going to be like this forever kind of thing. Um, it's so easy to slip into focusing on those so-called annoyances or, wishes for the partner to be different um and and that becomes so big in one's mind and heart that it um yeah it corrupts the harmony in the relationship and the the potential of the relationship um uh, for that moment and it's like it becomes everything right and whereas um this experience that i've had you know this this past few days of you know, being hyper focused, fixated on those small annoyances, and then, and then, you know, and then somehow, by the grace of God, really able to practice stepping back and looking at from a larger spiritual perspective, and saying, "Oh, that is nothing," in the larger scheme of things. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's it's um, so small. Uh, there's this um, there's this wonderful song I recommend by Glenn Phillips. Uh, my wife and I both love it. It's called "The Smallest Part of You." Uh, I'm just going to look it up real quick. Of Glenn Phillips, "Smallest Part of You." You can find it, I'm sure, on YouTube or 
whatever stream it oh it's called i still uh i still love you okay it's called i still love you and um uh and it, the the lyric part of the lyric goes well i i'll i'll let you uh go and listen to it and if you can't find it comment below um but glenn phillips i still love you and um it speaks so well to this dynamic of relationships and those hard parts uh, or those, you know, the parts in one's partner that one sees that are not perfect or even loving or whatever. Anyway, stepping back and seeing, oh, that's, that's the smallest part of you. Um, there's so much more to one's partner, to one's relationship that is good. I mean, this is a analogy for life, for life, right? That when we have difficulties, challenges, annoyances in life, down times in life, it is so easy to, so easy. It's natural, right? The human, that's how the human mind works to just focus down on that and that that's the world that becomes our world. And by the grace of God, if we are able to step back and see the larger picture of the beauty of the eternal soul's existence and the goodness that is that is truly, truly there, if by the grace of God, we're able to, even for a meaningful moment, see that, see that goodness, see the larger goodness, it situates whatever current difficulty challenge in a much uh, more right-sized perspective, you know, much more right-sized perspective. And then um, it allows conversation, a more loving conversation. It allows more loving beingness and action that leads to an opening up of life to love, to harmony again, to optimism and hope again and that's what i once again <laughs> learned for the you know feels like a thousandth time a, a millionth time in in this lifetime and i will continue learning this uh, again and again and again it's so easy again and again always focusing on the difficult hard parts and then, oh, by the grace of God, hopefully able to step back and go, oh, that's right, the goodness. Oh, that's, oh my gosh, the love again. I pray that for, for me and I pray that for you to have that, that, you know, the divine grace to step back and, 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 and for a meaningful moment, see the love, experience the love again, the larger love again, which allows us to have loving postures toward ourselves toward life toward our partners toward our friends toward our families a loving posture that brings loving conversation loving action that shifts everything even in the small situations it shifts everything because it elicits also hopefully perhaps if we have the destiny if we have the grace if we have the if it's meant to be it shifts and elicits a loving response from that other person, from that other partner, family member, friend, you know, colleague, whatever situation, um, elicits, elicits a loving response from one's life at the moment. Again, it's if it's meant to be, if it is, um, yeah, that's all I want to say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I truly welcome your comments, as I mentioned, to your experiences, your wisdom on these kinds of situations. When have you had the grace, divine grace, to be able to step back and see the greater love, see the greater goodness of a situation, of a relationship, of how worthwhile it is, and therefore been able to respond in a more loving way? forgiving way, accepting way, uh, playful way, perhaps, uh, that then elicited uh, also a more loving situation from life, from the partner, from, from oneself, perhaps. I welcome your 
examples, your comments below. Thank you.